the prophet of this season they put price just to meet with him there is a number you just come as how you come together and if there comes someone who is a rich someone here, even some pastors of some churches they put price to see him, you have to pay something. Like, when you reach to Zindu place, you even call. How does he speak about this, uh, this pregnancy? What does he say about my wedding? Will they pay the dowry price? Will I, will I go to marry myself? Someone As the Lord for me, He's going to ask Him for you. And uh, a young girl or a boy had all the things that he packed. Uh, and you go kanyarira, chewing, kanyarira, chewing uh, and kanyarira. Kanyarira. like you are going to you crawl to that uh, mountain taking a problem or his husband he has already eaten five donuts and you are just climbing to the mountain like you have seen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God who enable us to stay here. So come before the Lord. May be seated. Today we are going to talk about the principle that says you may receive false prophecy because you are so bad, but you want the Lord to speak good upon you. I will repeat. Someone could know that he is very bad in his heart. That he is wicked. But then he wants God to speak about good things upon him. It is among things that cause the spirit of the devil to give it so that you be deceived. Let's read the word of God in the book of Job. Chapter 12, verse 16. To verse 18. Chapter 12, verse 16. Now it says, Your hands are strong, they have broken the chains of the this verse that we read that means that even what the devil do he even asks permission for it. And then God allows it because of something. So, because we saw here that God is strong and always victorious. Both deceived and deceiver are in his power. This word that says deceiver 
Ibimurora. He saw him. And he even sees you as how being deceived. Sometimes we shout out crying because of the deceiver. But the one we are accusing, God already knows him and he's the one who allowed it. Yes, May Jesus help us. There is the days Jacob spent to his uncle at Haran when he was deceived by his uncle and all the years he spent more than 20, and all the rewards he took from him, God wanted to punish Jacob because he deceived as well. So he must find deceiver to deceive him again. So that he punish him the same way he did. An example I could give you, the Bible said when the time came, God himself found him and said, I want you to go back to your home so that you go to speak to your brethren, the one you deceived. I want you to go back. And he said, God, am I going to go empty-handed by the years I have been serving? And God said, first accept that you go back. And then you see that I will not pay you. He paid for him. And then he went and speak to him. And he speak to his uncle that in the morning give rewards to him. Every reward that you took away from him. And then he say farewells to him he him So he has power above them. He takes away the wisdom of rulers and makes leaders act like fools. A judge may misjudge and then even God misjudge him. He deceived a lot of people in the Bible. They sometimes look like they forgot what they've been speaking about with the reason to have just five righteous. How come Joseph was uh, out of prison? And even Joseph was in the prison when they, uh, they have already put him in prison. And his case, they have violation. Violence. It was very hard Case. The Bible didn't say the years they put him in jail to spend. But just imagine. God gave a dream to follow. He dreamed so that Joseph could come out from the prison. Our God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19 verse 13. To verse 14. Isaiah 19, verse 11 to 14. Kubwira faraho muti ndu umwana w'umunyabwenge ndu wo bamibakera n'ukuri abanyabwenge bawe bari hehe ngaho ni bakubwire bamenye imigambo uwiteka nyiri ngabo afitiye Egiputa abatware bisowani bahindutse bapfapfa n'abatware binofu barashutswe nibo bayobeje Egiputa kandi ribo buye rikomeza imfuruka y'imiryango yawo uwiteka kizu umwuka wo kuganda muri Egiputa hagati Bahatera gufudika mu mirimo yabo yose nkuko umusinzi adanda bidanira mu birutsi bye kandi muri Egiputa nta muri muzakorwa wakorwa numutwe cyangwa ikibuno ugakorwa n'ishami ry'umukindo cyangwa numuberanya imanzu fashe cyane Ifite ubutware bumeze gutyo 
he has this authority. The, the Lord has, the, has made them give confusing advice. They accuse them to do wrong. At all of the place. Either at Onof. Or even so on. They turn to be fools. Because of the spirit God pulled in Egypt. And then the Lord said, You clever man in Egypt. And then the Lord said, You clever man in Egypt. Who can go and stand in front of Pharaoh and say this and this? Who could be able to say there is no way. There is a spirit of confusion. God does something like that. So that misleading the one that made themselves like tea and clever I remember things that happened on the Tau Babel. Remember by that times when you read Bible, they say like third uh, season that is the first season is for the family of Adam and Eve. The second season is the time of Noah and his children. And his even uh, heroes. That is uh, the flower. The third season of Babel Theoretically, they say that that's the third season where the creature show another image. More than floods. The one who survived floods. Only eight people. The Bible doesn't show us the number of people who was in the world before the flood. But it says that it was very bad. All their mindset was very bad. Every idea they had was very bad. And then God was even regretting that he the person. And then he allowed to uh, perish them with the pride. All that number we don't know about was finished through the flood. May Jesus help us. The eight who survived Shem, Naham, and Japhet, the three sons of Noah. Noah was very old, he couldn't give birth. The three that give birth to other people. And their offspring. They are the one who gathered and said we are going to build a tower. So that we build a very high tower. So that we build a very high tower. And then we reach where God dwells. Something they did. That was the third time God spoke about a person. And even something that is very hard. The first time in Eden, he spoke about Adam and Eve. And then he said that this person has turned out like us. Have you understood the word? This person turned like one of us. What is that? That is God. He turned like God that is among us. Because he gets no good and bad. If we allow him to stay here, then we we'll find ourselves when he has already read on the tree of eternity, then he lives forever. Then we decided him to chase him out. Second time, that is when he said a person is very bad and even his mindset is evil. I'm going to deduct his age to live. 
imusigira ijana na 20 then he stayed with 120 years only kan hara bara nyuma gana 1980 and they are who lived for 9800 hara bara nyuma gana 1800 they are the one who stayed 870 but then he deducted to 120 the third when he spoke on the tough na no ndavuga ngo uyu muntu then he said again this person i could see they are so clever whatever they should want they could do it there is no any other solution at all usibye kugenda tukanyuranya indimiza unless to give them different language then he gave them different language and they could never communicate. This means communicating in a good way. The one who was building, the one who could give things, the one who brings bricks, or the one who even gets cement, they could even communicate at all. That is how God stopped the tower. Of Babel. What I see here before I move on, there is nothing in the world that is wisdom God can stop. There is nothing that is for wisdom God can stop. There is no knowledge that could go against you so that no, God can no, no, fight no, no. for you. There is no knowledge that can go against God and be possible. May uh, the name of the Lord be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has made them give confusing advices. As a result, Egypt does everything. And starts like a drunken man sleeping on his own vomit. Maybe you haven't seen anyone. You haven't seen someone like that. How come you could even see him? You just come in gathering and then go back to your home. You haven't seen how he slipped himself in his vomit. I know someone was uh, killed by it. He vomited to the extent he died. He died completely. God has a lot of ways to punish. Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 9 to 14 Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 9 to 11 to 11 umuhanuzi nashukwa akagira ijambo avuga cyangwa Murimbure ave mu bwoko bwanje Israel. Nabo bazajyana n'ibibi byabo. Ibibi by'umuhanuzi bizahwana n'ibibi by'umumpanuriza. Kugira n'inzu ya Israel itazongera kunyoba ngo inyimure. Cyangwa ngo yongere yiyanduza ibicumuro byabo byose ahubwo babo bwoko bwanje nange bimana yabo ni kumwa mu biteka vuga. We are learning difficult words. Umuhanuzi na shukwa akajiri jamba vuga. Muhite mume nyako juwite karinjub ganjub yeme yeng hamu shuka shuka. Kuchi. Why? Kuchi. Why? Imamu tumaze kuzuwa na kuvatu kwa tangire. We have seen the reason why from yesterday. 
kwabunye yuko imana isho yo kwemera uhugushwa kukabaho kugira ngo yicuriye umuntu wigiza kare kaje ku mana ya we saw guy that he could allow something to happen so that he kill something none tubonye hari ya muri esaya kwishaka kubikora kugira ngo umwami wayigize hikigenge we naba nabahanuze bose naba nabanyabwenge bose bahinduka baso then we found that in Isaiah that he could allow it to those who made their clever to turn to be fools. Let me tell you, my friends. Uh, maybe some people not uh, get the meaning of this. But the people who are elder here. Who had the information of Mobutu. Eh? Eh? God. There is sometimes when God does something, and even you find that even the civilian person can do something like that. Uh, recently, his fellow Kadhafi, you know what happened to him. You know how he died. Even Alafat. And even others and others. Saddam Hussein. I never have your man. There is even others. Let me tell you. Man, if you would quite go here, God has high authority. To the extent you think about how someone what happened to this person? What, what just happened? Because this person was He had wise people. He had advisors. In the um, army's way, I even wish that every great person, they could know how to honor the Lord. There was levels that was there from the day God created the earth. Since the day God created the earth, he then put the king came afterwards. He's been a time leading by himself. Father. It is the time Hallelujah. God spent leading he by himself. Yeah. He was the one walking and speaking by himself. Yeah. He went by himself in heaven yeah. to speak to yeah. Adam. Don't you know it? Yeah. He went by himself to Babel. He went by himself to Noah's place. He went by himself to Abraham's place as well. He went by himself to Isaac's place. Genesis chapter, uh, chapter 20. He went by himself to Jacob as well. Genesis 35. You might read You might find that Lord God elevated from where they spoke to That means he has come down. But from there, he started delegating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is not even the one the first king that took a throne. There are the people who requested him because they needed him. They spoke to judge somewhere that we want our king. We want to be a nation like others so that we have a king. You have gone away from God. God has misled you so that you even want a king. You want to be like other nations for you to even want a king. We are not going to talk much. Go and, talk to him. Go and give our a prayer request to him. 
He went and spoke to God. And God said, that's fine. Uh, why did they accuse me to my leadership? And say, let me search it for him. For you. The one I will give him to you. He will be very bad. He will be so evil towards you. The result that he gave them. The second one is David. That was equal to what uh, the heart of the Lord wanted. The third one is Solomon. The fourth one is Rehoboam. The fifth one is Jehoboam. Continuing the way there was a king of Jews and even a king of Samaria. All of the kings God builded this Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said from today, when I have put an ordained a king, please, you king who has been on this throne, wait and listen to me through the prophets. And if you want to ask me something, Go and seek the priest. The priest, the prophet, and the king. That is how it was built. The priest, the prophet, and the king. And above all, there was God who ruled that triangle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now, the word of God has said, if a prophet is deceived into giving a false answer, I will remove him from the people of Israel. Both the prophet and the one who consults him will get the same punishment. The one who consults him, I want you to understand it, Christians. The one God enabled to attain this Listen to this word. In these days, are you seeking the Lord or you seek the prophet? Okay. Seek the Lord directly. From him to you, directly. Do you accept it? Do you accept it? Seek, seek the fellowship between you and God and have the fellowship as you do. So that something comes from directly upon you. I know that he has a prophet and even knows their importance. He might send him when he wanted it. But don't go to consult him. Because the Bible said when I have a decision for the, the prophet I deceive. I will punish them with the people who went to consult them. Because it's too much. These years were spent in the ministry of the Lord. I don't know if you could be a uh, But by 44 years I spent in this ministry, there is something I am saying and then I realized that when I got saved, I wasn't there. Then I could see the cause. The prophets turn to the level where they are loved. 
it is more than seeking them it is like consulting them they turn to be like a great treasure loving them and seeking them it is one pull them in the trap that is why the Lord said, when I go against the prophet, I will even punish the one who consulted him. Tell me what the Lord is saying. How does he speak about this, uh, this pregnancy? What does he say about my wedding? Will they pay the dowry price? Will I, will I go to marry myself? If you go to ask something like that, someone could, could he lose something to respond oh, to? Me? I came for you to ask to God what my father. He's turning very bad and bad. When we get married, he could come all at home. home. And now he's coming at 11 p.m. Ask the Lord for me. He's going to ask him for you. And either he speaks or not, but he will speak something for you that the Lord has said. And there is no way that you could go show them that you really want it and even give something that you really want and even give something for you. Back. If I could say that you are the one who put them in the trap, I'm not, I'm not lying. Live with your God, you and him. And then him, if you want to send someone, what will show you that has been sent by God, he will come running and say something that he has to say to you. Standing, and he said, I'm rushing, don't even accompany me. He will just share the message to release the burden from him. But if you find that he's taking too long and then he starts uh, giving the order of you put, today you are going to make a of and he said I'm not able to eat the, all the red meat and as how you could see me when I reach at 9 o'clock how come does he even speak? May he speak something that he has to speak and then go. He is going very far. How come did he even reach to this place? What brought him? May he take him back. Do you think that God can take this decision when it is not tired of it? This is a serious decision. No person can take it when he's not tired of something. Listen to me clearly in this place. I was born in the Holy Spirit in August. Through the talent God gave me by then, I realized it afterwards. There was prophecy as well. And I still use it. But there is no one could come early to consult me for the prophecy. They come and seek me. I am a pastor. I welcome people from somewhere. And then we pray together. It is not necessary that after, after we pray for me to say something God has spoke about you. There is a person I spoke about this thing one time. I don't know if it's you. 
1983, I prayed. Then I went wanting that he could speak something upon me. I even remember the place I could pray for. I interceded to him so that he spoke something about the problems I It was like three, and it was very hard upon me. Around 1 a.m., I was wearing a watch. Some people know about it. It was around that time. And then a wine blow around me. Like one meter and a half. A very warm wind grow. And there was a calm voice through it. And then he asked me, I should I speak something upon your problems or do something about it? I am the only one who heard it. I wasn't even the person. Hallelujah. 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 In just a, a time like one minute, he touched to my nourishment. When I received something to respond, and it was very quick, and then I responded. Surely, do something about it. Mm. Yeah. I could uh, like for you to do something about it. Then I thought, and then I said, everything that he has spoke, that is kept in notebooks, uh, I think doing something about it is better. What do you want? What do you want? Will he speak something about it? That is the same thing that you want. May he speak something about it or do something about it? May he do something about it? For you to go out to ask something that he spoke about, you have uh, wasted your time. You have wasted your time. If only we went so that you could do something about it. Hallelujah. 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 If you seek me with the courage, you get to see me. You will see me. That is what the Bible says. You will ask for me, then I will Hallelujah. listen to you. Hallelujah. There is a word that says, before you call upon me, before you cry out to me, I will come to you. Hallelujah. God without any, 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 anyone. God, God is like he's feeling missing people to connect. He wants the fellowship between you and him without any mediator among you. He feel that Jesus that he gave us, uh, he gave us to us is enough. Because Jesus is our Hallelujah. connector to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he sat on the right side of the Lord uh, requesting for us a deal. And there is the Holy Spirit as well. Who take everything that we speak about with everything that we hold in us. Without even formulating in a good way. 
But the Holy Spirit we have received. In Romans it says. What you could put together even we don't know anything about it. He put it in a good way directly. And then he take it about. And then he put it in the hands of Jesus. And then Jesus give it to oh, our dad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is this way that you took? Be comforted when he wants to speak to us. The one he will send, he will come. This word scared me when I read it. Both the prophet and the one who consulted him will get the same punishment. Deuteronomy chapter 13 If God allows it, I will wind up there because I love to obey time. Chapter 13 verse 2 Deuteronomy Verse 13. Verse 2. Muri mwe, niho namwe muri. Niho muri namwe. Muri mwe ni habone ku muhanuzi, niho muri. Are you there? Ah. Nawe ni kumeze mukobwa wange. Yes. Yep. Muri mwe ni habone ku muhanuzi cyangwa umurosi akakubwira ikimenyetso cyangwa igitangaza icyo kimenyetso cyangwa icyo gitangaza kikagira gite umunsubize mwese ariko eh kigasohora yego icyo yakubwira agira ati duhindukirira izindi mana izo tutigeze kumenya izo tutigeze kumenya tuzikorere ntuzemera amagambo y'uwo muhanuzi cyangwa y'uwo murosi Kukuiteka imana yanyu zabibagerageza ngo imenye yuko mukundisha uwiteka imana yanyu imitima yanyu yose ni bugingo bwanyu bwose ahubwo mujye muyoborwa nuwiteka imana yanyu muyubahe mwitonda amategeko yayo muyumvire muyikorere muyifatanye hakaramata kandi uwo muhanuzi cyangwa uwo murose bazamwicire kuko azabavuza ibyo kubagomeshereza uwiteka imana yanyu yabakuye mu gihe cy'iki gipota ikabacungura mu nzu y'uburetwa nibyo kubatesha inzira uwiteka imana yanyu bategetse gucamo abari ko mukuri kibi hagati muri mwe amen If there is a prophet or interpreter of a dream, may he prophesy a wonder or a miracle. And then listen to this word. And what he prophesied came to pass. Just imagined came to pass. People of God. All of people who is listening. The one near or even the one far. Today a lot of number. He has perished to when he said he has prophesied something to me and came to pass. You should not care about it. You shouldn't care about it at all. If it came to pass, it doesn't matter. Everything that comes to pass to the someone who is very wicked, be a, a light for it. Why doesn't something push you to the righteousness? Why doesn't nothing that changes you to be saved completely? Where does it even fail? 
He's a fornicator. Uh, you do adultery in hotels. And even at lodges. Do you know there's some houses? There is not hotels or even lodges. They are called guest house. That is for that reason only. You could ask me how come you know about it? Because I welcomed someone who moved from there so that I pray for him. My heart kept a lot of things. Someone said, someone called me. Then he directed me to find him there. And then I said, because it's not a hotel or even a lodge. I went and it was a home. And then I thought that it draws It's among the some houses like like how you go to your place. Like through that house. Yes. It is very sad. Someone who does something like that, he's a drunkard, he accuses and takes something from others, there is nothing he cannot do. That person, all his desires he wants to give to the Lord, he put a gift it to the prophet who is a prayer for himself. So that he go to speak that to God for himself. So that it's very hard upon him. That his treasure that came upon him. There is an Indian ocean in the boat. And other it is at Majerwa. They had delayed to come out from it. Go and pray for it. Uh, a young girl or a boy had all the things that he packed. Then he could take like uh, seven packs of milk and like a, a box of biscuits. And you go chewing, chewing uh, Mohanga and even Kanyarira. Like you are going to, you crawl to that uh, mouth. Taking a problem on his husband. Taking a problem on his husband. He has already eaten five donuts. And you are just climbing to the mountain like you have seen God. And the day you went to pray for him, he has a prayer. They are going to spend a night together. To and then you spent your night on the forest praying for him. Just listen to me how God is going to send something to this What message are going to receive a prayer? What message are going to give to this person? What God will speak to someone? Someone like this. What is very sad upon you? If you speak something that is very bad, when you have already received a hundred dollars, he is the one who gives you milk and, everything you can, and even the cake that you take take with, you will not give the message that you had. It is not possible. When you have put your dollars in your wallet, will you be able to speak the real message? Respond to me. Will you be able to give it? It will not be easy for you. When you came down from there, then you call and they don't pick up. You call again. They don't pick up. 
They give you just I will call you later. Just there's a message I will call you later. You call again. And that person is sleeping. <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't want any disturbance because he is enjoying himself at your end. And you came from the forest to pray for someone. My friends, I just I teach you like a parent and a pastor. Know how you be with your God. What I love about him. He doesn't require you anything before you come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He doesn't request you anything at all. Any condition for coming. He doesn't want anything from you to come to him. Nothing. Just come in front of him and say, Simfiti chona guha nize yu musaraba uwa wa amfiri yeho ni wanja ni there is the blood of cheese. Go with his son. Just go with the son. You just make it co- Just go with the son only. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just go with his son only. And he say, I don't bring anything anymore, But I came with your son. I am even evil and wicked but I am, I came with your son look myself through you look myself through your son look me through his blood I don't bring any I don't bring any sheep I don't bring any goat I don't bring any sacrifice I only brought Jesus. Look through Jesus for me. Receive me through Jesus. Listen to me through Jesus. Look through me through Jesus. Respond to me through Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, the people of this days they put price. The prophet of this season they put price. Just to meet with him there is a number. You just come as how you come together. And if there comes someone who is a rich then you you keep on yearning before you. Isn't that true? Even some pastors of some churches, they put price. To see him, you have to pay something. It uh, goes together with the tie that you pay. For you to meet him, it goes together to how you look. Like. You took a bicycle coming. When you reach to Zindro place, you even call. Do you feel like you will meet a apostle? Do you feel like you will meet a apostle in this season? You will not meet with a apostle. Uh, in a short moment, there will be a Range Rover. They bypass you while you are waiting. There came Rava 4. The new one. 
Kahaze Yundai. Then there came Yundai. This new one that came Kahaze Vewe. Then there came Vewe. That came from Uganda. Uh, and then you say you ha want to You will not get to see him. Ha ubona. Ari kwandi ngawe. Ari kwandi ngawe. If I could be you. Ndi ngawe. If I could be you. Muri yimisi te icho. In this season like this. Nasha kukombi chuti imana. I could be so friend to God. Nasha kukombi chuti ya Yesu. I could try to be a friend to Jesus. Nasha kukombi chuti kuri Kristo. I could try to be friend to Jesus. Kukwa nabo nyu mukunzi mniza. Because I have seen a good love. Wangunze na muzi. Who love me before I get to know him. Ni umfujira kumana. He is the one who speaks. And even my name is upon his heart. Because he speak upon me, there is no enemy who can go against me. Hallelujah. There is, that is what made me leave. You could ask me the way I lived that year. Before I backslide and move from this Before backsliding, go away from the, the church I led, I'm still in it. It is because my friend is Jesus. I have a good fellowship to the one who called me. We have a good fellowship together, the one who called me. That is the way when I realize. Then he fight the one who go against him. Then he be the enemy of my enemy. Then he stood up to the one God against me and even makes me live in a good way. I never kill anything else. I never take anything from the one I preach Wherever you see me on YouTube, I never take something from the people who invited me. I don't have a shop. I don't have a shop. But I got the meaning of the blessings you take from God when you serve him. I surely know the blessing upon the servant of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will wind up here. We will continue tomorrow. Thank you. Hallelujah! 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 Come and we pray. Come and we pray. You know your heart deeply. But come and then we pray together. We are standing, we are not kneeling. But come and stand so that we pray together. So that we chase away this evil spirit. This spirit that took this level. This spirit. Fight against it. Tomorrow, uh, yesterday I received someone Canada. from Canada on phone. I was very sad. Then he said one of the pastors in this nation who is a woman who called him and then he said, Send me your picture. And even the picture of your husband. And even the picture of your child. Then he sent it as three pictures. Like during evening. Then he said to him. Give a sacrifice of six hundred dollars for your home. It is uh, beneath the 
cloud of even darkness. But the Lord has spoken to me. Seek for you to be a lot for your home. As how a big guy was a lot for her home. You know, someone could say something like that in interaction of the And then he said, I didn't have that dollar. And my husband couldn't get it at I tried to get dollars. And the other one I borrowed from my you know, Then I sent it. After sending it, the next day, go and uh, serve yourself because your things have been like uh, but give $200 for your child. Give the sacrifice of $200 of the child. And then he felt the voice was praying Call pastor, call the pastor I faced that a lot. Then she called me. And then I said, if, will you, you, call call you, call you have already spent six How am I going to help you? you By those two hundred keep it and or even pay it back to the one you borrowed from. And, and then he said, are you not going to ask something for me? I will not ask anything from you. Let me pray for you as well. So that that dream of fear go away from you. I prayed for her and prayed for her. And now she feels good with her home. What is happening? Come closer. This is the spirit of the devil that is in That is why God is turning against the prophets and the one who consult them. The protection and the spirit of God put it in the hands of the Lord. They last put it in the hands of the Lord. And as we pray here, Say to God, God, remove everything that could take away my with you. I want to have a good fellowship with you, God. Yanjinga ite kango muveho. Horum girizib jokuni nyura kandu horune jeka. Uvu gengona nje mumvide mure nje zimizera. Unvedimbo. I want us to be together when I'm tempted by the word. When there is different voices that are sitting to me, allow me to hear your voice. Let's pray to God. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your thank you that could separate them from you. Give them to hear the sin and everything that 
they be with you in a good way. And so that by yourself you may speak to them. Shed away the spirit of the stealing in the prophet. Shed away the spirit of pride in the prophet. The spirit to get something to eat. The spirit to take money from people. God, let people give the tithe and offering in your heart. Let people be with you in a good way. The one who gives offering to you, give it with a good heart. Shake away the spirit of demons. The spirit of false prophecy. The spirit that separates your people. We declare it and deduct it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you have done more than what you could ask. God and we pray so that the days remain in prayer. You will be with us in the coming days. I pray for you and the things that you have home in your hands. These men and women, I put them in your hands. These young ladies, I put them in your hands. These young men, I put them in your hands, Jesus. I pray for those who are pregnant. I pray for those one who get ready for the wedding for everything to go smoothly so that people could be with you in a good way where people are saved in a good way where they go away from sin so that when the day comes for you to come back you should listen to it and then go back to heaven in the name of Jesus our King. Amen.